Okay, so based on the success of Fluentd, we, we pick up another uh, software from the treasure uh, data, that is mbook, a book loader that offers more or less the same interoperability as uh, Fluentd, but instead of work with big data streaming ingestion, it works with files or set of files. And uh, it was a bit complex to use than, than Fluentd because it involves to install separately plugins, uh, inputs and output plugins, and also to handle many configuration files. So it was okay for development, but if you want to bring a, a tool for common users or scientific, it would be a bit complex to, to use in bulk. That's what we decide to, um, to develop a wrapper that we call ebook that, that imitates more or less the syntax of Git, so, but behind is running mbook, so we have mbook as easy as Git. In the Vendelin platform, uh, and our data leg of data sets looks more or less like this. Uh, those are uh, several data sets of uh, any kind of, of files uh, that the research group in Telecom uh, Parito University used. Um, mainly there are uh, brain signal images or raw data for MRIs or other medical images. If we choose one of the data sets, we'll see the list of files. Uh, there can be binaries like these raw files I mentioned, or text files like tables or JSON. And if we choose one of the files, we can see some information and metadata. In this example, there is a, a raw file of uh, brain uh, neurological signals. And th that metadata was, uh, was processed automatically by Vendelin after ingestion after the ingestion of the file using the, the Sci, SciPy libraries developed by, by the research team. So if you if we want to use ebook to transfer big data and to share easy, uh, for example, to create an employer data set, we should run on a, for example, on a local folder in our file system, the commands ebook init and ebook patch, and it will detect all the files contained there for ingestion. In this case, 15 files, some of them are binary, some of them are text files. And the ingestion will, will start file by file in a transactional way. Uh, and it will retry in case of any network uh, problem. And if the files are, are big, uh, it, will, uh, it will automatically split into, hand, into uh, chunks. Uh, so the ingestion and the transfer is reliable. And at the end, it will report the, the file ingestion. So in the Vendelin platform, we can see the new data set ingested with all the, the files uh, contained in, in our folder. Then for download, it's as easy as run ebook pool and the data set name or reference. Again, it will start file by file in a transactional way, splitting automatically B files, and at the end, it will report the, the download. If we run a list in the directory, we'll see our 15 files there. So uh, we can see it's quite straightforward to upload and download data set, uh, no matter the size. Uh, if we want to contribute, it's as easy as uh, contributing a repository in Git. For example, we add a file, we rename another one, modify the readme, and delete one of the files. We run evil status, and evil will detect all the, the modified files. And running, uh, we can add the specific uh, changes, uh, the same as staging in Git. We add the modification, we remove the, the remote file, and then by running it will push, it will uh, ingest each of the, the changes into the dataset. And it also we can do some partial ingestion of dataset. This means that if we want to, in, to upload some files into a date, existing dataset, that is of uh, really big, there is no need to download it. So we can just set uh, a push into the data set, setting a new directory. Then it will detect the files there. It will check if there are some conflicts with the existing uh, data, and you can run a partial ingestion without problems. One of the key features is that we can resume interrupt, interrupt operations. Um, or, or some missing ingest ingestion due to, to a poor connection. So, for example, if the download is interrupted uh, after a couple of retries, if we run again the pull command, 
it will re it will ask uh, it will detect the, there was a problem in the last uh, operation it will ask the user if you he wants to to resume or to download from scratch and if we resume will it will we continue with the dependent files uh, leaving the already download files there and uh, regarding interoperability it will can work with many different protocols uh, because it, it is wrapping the, the, the existing plugins in Embulk. For example, we can use currently FTTP, FTP transfer or HTTP request to a URL or even Amazon S3. And it is extendable to wrap any, uh, almost uh, every, every protocol like Hadoop, Google Cloud Services, Dropbox, etc. Uh, the command is quite simple. We, run a push on, on a data set again, but setting the storage to one of the protocols. Let's see, as example, uh, this is a bucket in Amazon S3 platform that contains 10 files, different sizes and, and formats, some text files, some binary data. And if we run, uh, it, will push, uh, on a, it will push on a data set, setting the storage as S3, it will, will ask some information about for example, the bucket name or, or some uh, authentication uh, inputs. And it will, it will detect all the files in, in the bucket. It will start the ingestion again, file by file, splitting automatically when the files are big. And when it finishes, show the report. And we can see the, our 10 files ingest or ingested in, in the vending platform. So, um, we can see that with a very few commands we, using ebook, uh, we can easily upload and download big data, contribute to some lo our local changes on the data, as easy as contributing Git to a repository. And we also can do these transfers over, over poor connections because we have the resume operation and also upload and download using different protocols. This is the quick uh, summary of the different uh, comments. Um, well, thank you very much for your attention. Is there any question? So if you look at medical imaging, like uh, DNA or you know, uh, X-ray type imaging, mm -hmm. uh, there's something normally uh, processing associated with that. Yes, the question is if there is some processing on the data, like for example, in medical images in the server side after the ingestion, and the answer is yes. If, it is, if there is a, a, a batch script prepared for that kind of data, after the ingestion, if we automatically process to at least get metadata and store the 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 arrays of or streams into the object of vending. For example, in the research group in telecom, they work with brain uh, signal images. So we we prepare a batch script in the server that uses the the libraries they they developed. Uh, so after ingest uh, brain signal images automatically, uh, it, they are automatically processed by vending after ingestion, and we'll, uh, you can see some metadata about the signal channels uh, almost in real time uh, in the platform. Uh, you also have um, clinical uh, it's, uh, the, the platform is prepared to work with binary data of any kind, so uh, if you're interested in some specific topic, you can uh, you can develop a script to to process in the the data, put it in the server side, and it will work with medical images as well. So, thank you very much. <laughs>